Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of The Pit. Sword of the Stars, The Pit, that is. And we've made it down to floor 30. At long last, we're at the very end of the game. We'll be able to hold on to our successes here, and we'll have to wait and see. Our inventory is looking pretty good. We've got a variety of healing items. We've got a nice um, field surgery kit and 30 nanomeds if we need them. Some Kozanti Bree, which will also give us some health back. There's a bunch of healing stations on this previous floor. We have tons of food to let us do the resting healing if we need to. We should be pretty solid here. We've also got decent armor, some still okay weapons. Not a whole lot of ammunition, though, which may be a problem. A decent selection of grenades, which might be good. And the know-how to hopefully get through this next floor more or less unscathed. But I've been saying that floor 30 sure is a thing. And oh, is it ever. Let's go down there and see just what floor 30 is all about. Down we go. We arrive in a nice antechamber here. This is a very, very bad one. Normally you get a bunch of different stuff in it. You only get one locker, which had nano reconstructors times two, so that's pretty good. But normally you get three or four or five free items in this room, and we only got one, so that's pretty bad. This is the thing, though. This floor is enormous. The doors like this are not locked. Anything that's not having a special lock is openable. And they're all themed rooms. This room is the Vermin Room. Vermin Testing. It's got all of the long lost enemies we haven't seen in ages. Very old, weak, small vermin type monsters. We've got some uh, rock rats, we've got zoolings, all that kind of stuff. We need to slay these guys as quickly as possible because there are a lot of them in here. Thankfully, they go down pretty easy because they group up and we can slash them down in a couple quick hits. But yeah, we're going to start seeing a lot of the enemies we've been fighting for a long time now back again. We're probably going to use a nano reconstructor on our lightning sword there just to make sure it's still good because we're going to use a lot of it. What's it left at? Is it three? Yeah, we'll use a nano reconstructor right now. Thank you very much. Done. There we go. Problem is, we used the uh, duct tape earlier when we could have potentially waited until getting all those nano reconstructors and we would have saved a lot of overall durability, but that's fine. Point is, we have it working and we probably won't need to use too much of it to keep going. Keep getting through these guys, we'll keep slashing at them, they'll go down eventually. There's going to be a huge heap of uh, vermin junk on the ground, but that's okay. What do we see here? A bunch of raw meats, bindings and scent glands, nothing too important there. I do want to try and take the uh, bone slivers here, though, because if we can, we might be able to find some more flavor oils here. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in each room as well, which makes it interesting. And they all, most of them have two or three different exits. They're all connected by hallways, and it makes for an interesting adventure. Ooh, heavy slugs and rifle rounds? Yes, please. Okay. We can reload, reload more of our rifle. Oh, yes, 180 rounds. That's good, actually. What's in this one? More ammunition, please. EMP grenades, definitely good. All right, there's a lot of uh, room-appropriate, uh, like, what am I trying to say, item piles in here. So this one has rot piles. Oh, a hyper multi-tool would have been nice a lot earlier in the game. Not at this point. Some more rotten cheese. But yeah, so basically, as we've journeyed forth here, we're trying to get everything we can and keep moving. We'll eat the Soylent Vines right now because we don't need to hold on to those. But yeah, this map is interesting. This is where we want to go, right to the middle, because that is where we will find everything our hearts desire. These other rooms can vary from more or less irrelevant to absolutely terrifying. I didn't mean to open that close. This one is full of robots. They're not too bad though because it looks like they're mostly security bots which should be more or less manageable. Let's go see what the top option is. There are some of these rooms that are absolutely mind-numbingly terrifying sometimes. What's in this one? We come up here. This one is full of Tarka and Medbots. Okay, well in that case, Mason Rifle it is, we might be able to go in here. There's going to be a lot of Tarka in this room. We do want to go in this way because this is the most direct way to the middle here, and if there may be a direct route, we may be able to skip a lot of stuff if we need to. But we'll try and take as many of these rooms as we can to try and get as much out of here. Ow, rocket to the face. Dead Tarka, good. That's why we keep the Mason Rifle. It's amazing at this point. Oh no, 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 ow. That's one Tarka, that is a crazed human, that's another Tarka. Tarka Vars are like upgraded versions of these guys, which makes them even scarier. We're going to back up a little bit and hope some of this stuff follows us into this previous room. If we just wait down here, they might. Doesn't look like they're going to, though. We are regenerating health, so it's fine, but mm. There's a human, we'll wait for the he comes down here. Keep coming there, dude. Come on down, say hello. Get slashed in the face. You just grenaded yourself to death again. Stop doing that. Okay. They don't want to cooperate very much, do they? We can't really hit the Tarka from here yet either, because they're hiding in the back of the room. 
which is unfortunate. If we come up here, they can both hit us as well. That's okay, though. We're gonna try and Mison Rifle these guys out. We can't really afford to overuse this thing, but... Ah! Dang rockets. Oh, there's another one? Really? But we need these guys to die, so we'll... Oh, my goodness. This is, this is why these rooms are scary. They have way more terrifying enemy power than they ever did anywhere else. But you can get a lot of good stuff in here, like these energy cells. So if we need to, we can probably go back to a previous floor and get a more... Um, energy backpacks and stuff that way by combining our power cells together. So we're going to go for the VAR right now. We can still hit him. Good. One more shot should take him out. We have to be careful though because if we get too close to this friend, he'll do some nasty things to us. So we're going to just keep running down here. We'll try and draw them out because if they come and fight us in a room where they're not supported by other allies, they're a lot less dangerous. But it's a lot harder to get them to do that. I don't know where the other even went. There he is. Okay, so we'll take out the Mison rifle again. More shots with the death laser. There we go. He's dead. We level up. You are going to level up a lot if you make it here. This is where the level ups happen. Let's slash through these guys a little. Clear some of these guys out of our way. But yeah, you level up a lot. Fighting this many enemies in one place is really good for your level. We are stunned, which means we can't move out of here very quickly, which is unfortunate, but we can keep hacking away at these guys. I kind of want to hack away at the... There we go. The bots first. He just got hacked away by the tail attack. That's kind of funny. I didn't realize it was an area effect there. Because this lets us attack multiple people in one go. There's the other Tark I wanted to kill, though. So we take the Mason rifle out again and take a shot at him. Good. He's injured now, so we're not going to use the uh, Mason rifle again. We're going to swap over to the auto pistol and see if we can kill him with that. Might take a couple shots, though. Please don't shoot me with rockets while I'm shooting you. And one more shot should do it, I hope. Should do another 30. Nope. Ah! Thankfully, that rocket did a decent amount of damage to him as well. But we're getting hurt here pretty bad. As is, as is expected, you do you do take a lot of damage in this floor, which is why I was worried about it for so long. But it looks like we're doing okay here so far. We have a level up in reserve, so we're not too worried about the damage we've taken yet. And all we have to do is make sure we keep fighting them. This guy has taken out a lot of enemies for us, too, which is kind of funny. Let's keep hacking on him, though. Lightning Blade will do it. Lightning Blade will do it. The other interesting thing is, I haven't seen this until recently. If an enemy attacks another enemy by mistake, a lot of the time they'll take out their aggression on them. So this bot is actually helping us fight this guy, which is pretty funny. Either way, we're going to keep smacking at him. See, he's shooting lasers at him for us, which is great. Absolutely great. Kill the target zombie, eventually he'll go down, and we'll be able to move into the room, see what else we can clear out of there. I'm not going to bother healing until we've actually killed everything in here, but there is a bunch of good stuff on the floor we'll be able to steal as well, which will be helpful. And the funny part is, every time he tries to come, like, get over his grievance and come fight us instead, he smacks him with the tail and immediately gets him ups upset at him again. Alright, let's kill them. And what's going on here? There's a mess. Alright, these guys should die pretty quick now. They're getting pretty low, I think. Tar these zombie Tarka have a bajillion health, like I was saying earlier, so they're hard to get rid of. Just don't kill him, bot. I want to get the experience. I want the EXP. And he's dead. Awesome. And I got shot with a laser. That's fine, though. We can kill him in one go. Alright, what's on the floor here? More energy cells. I don't need the logic circuits, really. I'll take the primordial soups, though, and... That's serum. I don't need serum. Okay. Whew. What's in here? There are also a lot of adaptoids on these floors, so you gotta watch out. While there are a ton of these items, there's also a lot of junk. More chocolate eggs. I've never, ever seen this many chocolate eggs in a run. This is crazy. Alright, we'll pick up some of the stuff that's useful. There's a Zeta door. There's a lot of hard-to-unlock doors in this place. Unfortunately, this is not a good one. It doesn't take us up because we need to get around over to this center of the area. I think what we're going to do is we'll level up, though, to get that health back up. Take the point in Might, and we will go for... Foraging is already maxed out, so that's good. We'll take a Medical Point to make sure our Medical Kits work a bit better. We have Spear now as a stat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nothing uses that stat, but I may be wrong, especially now that the Mind Games expansion's out. They might have added a Spear weapon. Um, we'll take lockpick, electronics, mechanical, computer, pistol, rifle, assault weapon. There we go, lots of points. That's good. Now, I guess we go look at our options again. We can wander through all these doors. As long as we don't open the other doors, it's generally safe to walk up to them. They're all pretty well contained. This is robots again. Doesn't look too dangerous, though. It's all fast response bots. So we'll come in here and clear this out. We should be pretty safe in here as long as we don't get swarmed too badly with too many things at the same time. These guys are coming towards us, though, which is good. It makes us have an advantage in fighting them. As long as they're up close, they have a much higher chance of missing all of their shots. So, we're going to swarm right into them and try and do as much damage as we can. We are going to take a lot of damage, though, which is a bit of a problem, but we should be okay. We have a lot of things we can do to recover if we need to. And these guys will die off pretty fast, because we can do a lot of damage to the things that pop in like this, which is exactly what they have a tendency of doing, so that's good. 
Oh, I'm stunned. Oops. Shouldn't have moved there because I'm stunned. But that's okay. We can take advantage of these guys being all close together and hack them up like I was just saying. There we go. Surprised that wasn't hitting him, though. Apparently... Oh, yeah. That guy gives us radiation poisoning, of course. As we finish hacking these guys out, we will eventually clear them out. The radiation isn't too much of a problem because it does go away pretty quickly here. But yeah, these robots, not the big deal. There are some rooms of robots, though, that are absolutely horrifying. So hopefully we don't have to go through any of those right away. Let's clear these guys out, though. Come on. Get out of here. All right. We're doing pretty good so far. We've got a couple rooms here that haven't been too dangerous. We got through the Tarka room without too much trouble. Things can get nasty in here, though, so I'm not going to... Uh and say anything before we find out what we're really getting up against so inventory sort that junk there we go we have a low health again we just lost half our health bar that's what happens a lot in this place you take a lot of damage oh a pocket tesseract why do you wait till the very last floor of the game to give me this thing look how good this is this is a huge storage item booster bam look at all that space it's so good it makes the utility belt look so paltry in comparison but it's, look at all that space. We could have been carrying so much more stuff if we had found that sooner. It's so disappointing. Ugh. Whatever. We got one now, so we can at least carry everything we find in here. Is there anything down in this room? This is the robot room we saw earlier. Yes, it is. We might as well come down here, get for the experience, to clear out the room, get any bullets we can get, and potentially find anything in these crates. Just to be safe, though, we're going to probably take a bit of healing items. Eat some food here. That'll fill our food back up and give us some health. And I guess we could use some of the Tarka med kit, because it's pretty big. That should give us a bit of health back. There we go. It's going to be a while before we level up again, so we might as well get some health before we get into fights. There we go. Open up the door here. We should be able to get in without too much trouble, and we have lock picks if we can't. There we go. We're going to get lots of bullets to the face here, but hopefully these guys' accuracy is as bad as it always is. And we won't be in too much trouble. Now, again, these guys are going to rush into us again, so we can just slash them up for the most part. They might stun us now. Yeah, we got stunned. That's too bad. That would have been a good time to not be stunned if we'd been moving and finish those guys off. We have a nice triple hit there, which is good. Come on now. Come fight me. Stop stunning me and come fight me. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Moving in close. So I can hit two at once. That's perfect. Not quite as perfect now, but it's fine. We'll kill off the big ones. If they're dead, it's not quite as dangerous. We're not stunned anymore, so we can move in and take out these guys together. Excellent. Lots of damage done, but that's fine. We have plenty of health, plenty of armor, and this isn't damage that does enough damage to actually get through our armor. So we can basically just tank it pretty easily. Especially since we have so many healers. The only problem is we're missing a lot, which is not great. Keep hitting them. There's three in a row, which is perfect. There we go. I think we killed one, that's fine. Keep hitting them. Can we get both of them that turn? Nope, apparently not. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Double, nice double hit. Oh, man. Look at this mess. This is crazy. This is something that doesn't appear anywhere else in the game. Nothing is this in intense. Never do you find this many items enemies in one place. It's ridiculous. But that's what the last floor of this game is all about. Swarming you. Absolutely swarming you with every enemy you could possibly face at once. Enemies you haven't seen in ages all come back to fight you at the same time. It's crazy. All right. Get out of here. That's a ton of pistol rounds. 13, 12, 14, 28. It's good about... What was that, about 60 pistol rounds? That's pretty good. That's good because our pistol supply was dwindling, and we might want some ammo once we can start coming across other of these rooms. What are in these lockers? Hopefully good stuff. We found humgum in here. <laughs> humgum reduces paralysis? No, reduces confuser berserk. Right. Right. It's hard to remember what all the specific things actually do, but you can just check them. Another pocket tesseract. Thank you, game. <laughs> you wait until now to give me two of them. And that's another gamma key? Gamma key. We don't need the gamma keys, really, because those doors are pretty easy to unlock, and those doors do still give you experience, whereas none of the other doors on this floor do, so it's pretty good to be able to open them if you can. What's up here? Hopefully nothing too... Oh, this is not so bad. This is a full room of these smaller Tarkas. These are actually quite funny rooms to go into, because they killed each other like crazy in here. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, because they go, they're all confused, they all attack each other at all times, and they get berserked, and everything is just chaos in this place kind of entertaining. They do do a bit of damage because there's a lot of uh, bullets that are in here, but they're also pretty funny because they kill the people who are you're next to. Especially because a lot of them have shotguns as well. If you run up close to people, everyone gets shot. We are taking a lot of damage though. We may need to level up soon. Or rather, uh, use some nano meds because that's a lot of bullets coming our way. Keep slashing at these guys though. Eventually they'll go down. I'd like to get to a position where I can hit more than one at once, but that's not being too easy at the moment. The game doesn't want to do that for some reason. Alright, lots of... Look at all the bullets going everywhere. It's ridiculous. Slash these guys up. Excellent. More shots everywhere. We have plenty of health still for some reason. Excellent. I'd love to kill the zombie ones because they do the most damage, I think. I think they have slightly better guns. I'm not sure about that, though. 
More bullets coming our way. We may want to heal a little bit here. So we'll use the last of our uh, med kit there. That should do it. Kill off some more of these guys. This is what I mean, though. Everything in here is just this kind of madness. There's just enemies everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. They're probably going to just destroy most of the stuff in the room, which is kind of unfortunate. They have a tendency to wreck all of the gear that you could have potentially grabbed by destroying all the consoles with the confused shots. But you know what? That's okay. They haven't done it to this thing at least, so we at least get one thing out of this room. And a lot of pistol rifle rounds, rather. Alright. Knife up the last couple remaining guys, and hopefully we get some nice stuff out of it. One more dead, one more dead, one more dead. Perfect. Look at all those rifle rounds. That's great. Okay, and can we get anything from the stasis pantry? Probably. Probably. Can we get some health items from the stasis pantry? Maybe. Soft switch, good enough. We're going to rest here. It's going to take a little while. I'll be right back when we're back in full health again. Well, three resting periods later, we're back up to full health again. That's good. Let's take a look at our inventory, grab some more food to fill up on. Delicious. I'm probably gonna eat my stink witch this floor because I'm sure somebody's gonna try and blind me and then I can try and try a stink witch and see if that fixes it. Now, we have a new room over here. Oh, new. No. That's a zombie room, isn't it? No, it's a... That's a Zool room. Okay. The Zool room aren't quite so bad because we can sit in the hallway here and they can't all rush us. <clears throat> They'll all come in and we can just fight them in here. That's probably what we'll do because that way we can uh, beat them down in smaller numbers and that should work out nicely for us. What's in the room above, though? Let's check that out first, because you want to know what your options are for sure in this place. Otherwise, you might be getting into things you don't want. Ooh, no. Nope. No. Nope. Nicely enough, the enemies here won't leave their rooms unless you open the doors. So I don't think we ever have to worry about those cyborgs coming down here. But that is a big robot room. It's got cyborg bears and all kinds of nasty things in it. Whereas this one is a lot more manageable. Zool are not quite as dangerous to your inventory. So we stand here, they're gonna rush us, we can block the doorway and just hack at them. These guys don't have any kind of uh, ranged attack, so we can just stand here and slash them. And the fact that they come in and don't move around a lot limits how many of them they can fight us at one time anyway. Two damage and letting them one go, that's pretty interesting, I've never seen that. Slash up here, and eventually these guys will die. It might take us a while, because these are both zombies, but they will die eventually. I'm gonna destroy the doorway most likely soon, but that's okay. Yeah. It's an interesting little thing, though. Because of the way that it's organized, it does severely limit how effective they can be in here. There we go. Our lightning blade's damaged, so we're going to use another nano repair on it. Because we need to keep that thing alive if we want to actually stay in here. 16 left. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Either way, we should be able to hack at these guys. It shouldn't be too bad. We will take a bunch more damage, but as long as we can hit them like this, get three in one go and that kind of thing, we'll be quite effective. The problem is when they do this and they start to split Oh, don't you be doing that, specimen taker. You need to die. So we're going to take out the heavy slug thrower. Take a shot at her. Are you going to die? No. Oh, the heavy slug thrower launches people back. That's amazing. Go again. That's hilarious. I think it's dead now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's dead or not. But we're going to go back to the lightning blade and keep hacking these guys up. Either way, though, that's really funny. I didn't know the heavy slug thrower actually shoves people around the map. So that's amazing. Either way, we'll keep hacking at these guys. We are taking some damage here on our weapons, but we should be okay for a little while longer here. We are pinning them in the doorway intentionally, like I said, because this way they can't actually all get in at the same time, so we can fight them a lot easier. We might go back to the laser sword at some point, but I want to keep those energy cells if we can, because going back and making more energy backpacks is also a good idea. We're berserk now, so that's fine. We can just use our humdum if we want, but there's no real reason to yet. Ow. We can basically just tank out the berserk in here by fighting these guys. Don't you be ruining my stuff! There's probably more med bays in there. We're going to go to the normal auto pistol and kill him with that. No, apparently we're not going to be killing him with that. Try again. There we go. Now he's dead. And kill off the rest of these guys. Excellent. One dead Zul. And there is another Zul Alpha here. We can wait in here for them still. They will come to us one at a time, and that's okay. We're grabbed again. That's fine. Our health is low, but there's med bays in here we can use. And we can always just wait again. That's what this thing's all about. The, the Using the wait to heal is really useful in here because enemies, enemies won't swarm you if you've already killed everything in that room. So if you can survive any given room, <clears throat> you can just wait to heal back up to full as long as you have the food. So since we have a ton of food, it would be crazy of us to not take advantage of it and clear out all of these places. So that'll do. There we go. And there's one more left in here. And then, ooh, that's actually quite nice. There's a secure weapons locker in there. Those can be quite valuable. And we'll kill off the remaining Zul and then we're good to go. Hopefully our lightning blade lasts us through this whole floor because it is a very nice weapon in this place. We can use the lightning, the laser sword if we have to, like I said, but this is better if we can use it. There we go. So we'll grab the meats, the meats, the cheese. We don't need the punch claws. 
and we'll try and fix this med bay. I'm sure we'll succeed because we have a ton of experience in fixing things. There's a little heal. Can we get a full heal, please? Yes, there's a full heal. Good. Don't have to wait. And open up the lock. What's in here in the secure weapons locker? There is more batteries and intelligent targeting. I will definitely take those, no question asked. Can I actually use this, though? I found something, and I already sorted it and forgot where it was and what it was looking for. I got the batteries, which is good. Intelligent targeting, that's what it was. I'm going to increase the accuracy on something. Mm, what's the low accuracy weapon? Is it the laser sword? It's lightning blade. Lightning blade won't get any benefit from this, though. Why not? We'll stick it here into the AK again. There you go, AK. Now you're even more accurate. You're up to 60 accuracy. That's pretty good. Okay. We can open up the freezers, see what's in there. Is there a room below us? We've already cleared that one. Good. Excellent. We can come back down here. Open up those doors just so we can move through freely. And what's in the last freezer? Please be more geek flavor oils. If there are, I will go right back upstairs and use them right now. Yes. Nope. Wound to see cucumbers and infinite food. That's okay, though. We can eat all these things if we decide we need to. We can otherwise hold on to them. So that's a dangerous room up there. These rooms might be okay over here. We have to go check them out. What's in this one over this way? Up here we find... Ah! This is one of my least favorite kinds of rooms. It's the protein mess. There's a ton of proteins in here. We're going to fight them all. But the way we're going to fight them is a little bit different. We're going to get them to swarm us if we can. There's toxoids and all kinds of nasty things. But if we can get them to follow us, we're going to be using grenades on them. So we're going to be equipping our frag grenades. I'm going to throw them right in here. That'll hit a lot of enemies. It will destroy this most likely, but that's okay. At this point, I'm entirely okay with that. We want to use the grenades to kill off as much of these guys simultaneously as possible because it is a nice, easy way of dealing a lot of damage to this mess of enemies, which otherwise is a bit, bit, of, a bit of a concern. We can pretty much outmaneuver all of them, though, because of the fact that we have such high mobility and such a thin hallway for them to move through compared to their very low mobility. So we're going to try and make sure these guys get taken out here. There we go. Our high accuracy on this gun is going to be nice because we're not going to miss quite so much combining the close proteans. He just diseased a protean. I've never seen that happen, I don't think. All right. Come down and fight him. This is the thing, though. They will rush us out. We will have to fight them constantly for a long time. But we should be okay to deal with this as long as we don't get hit with anything nasty all of a sudden. We may want to use our, uh, our single remaining... What's it called? Uh, blah, 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 blah energy drink, but we'll hold on to it for now because having access to that, if we need it in a hurry, is good. How are we going to fight these guys most effectively? Like I said, with grenades. We're going to keep the EMP grenades for dealing with robo rooms. For now, though, we'll be trying to use this. I want to try using the pheromone bait, though. This is part of the reason I was holding on to this. I really want this to make them go berserk. It does! <gasps> they go berserk, and they might kill each other, and they're grabbing each other. That's amazing. That's actually hilarious. Well, are they going to keep fighting? Or are they going to stop being berserk at each other? He's still berserk. There we go. That's amazing. Wow. You can use this on Toxoids and Proteans. That's so good. Because they're grabbing each other. He's not berserk anymore, so that's fine. We'll use another one. <laughs> we'll back up a little. And we'll throw another berserk grenade in there. That's so funny. It's not always going to work, because sometimes they do target you anyway. But that is the coolest thing. All right. Back to the assault rifle. Kill off that one. He should be weak. There we go. Kill him off again. Hopefully we can kill him before the protean gets to us. There we go. Oh no, there's so many proteans here. Alright, we need to kill them off again, so we're going to try and use something a bit more drastic. We're going to frag grenade ourselves if we have to here, just to make sure we kill off all the little proteans. There we go. Ouch. That hurt our lightsaber too, which is not great. Hmm. Might have been a bad tactical decision on my part, but that's okay. We'll kill this guy off. There we go. One more shot. Oh, don't you be damaging me. Go away. There we go. Unfortunately, that protein's still coming, which could be a problem soon. There we go. He's moved, which means we can move, which means we can get out of here. Get out of there. He's going to chase us down faster than we can get away, but that's fine, because we get some ground on the protein, which is the important thing. We should be able to kill him in a couple more hits, so we should be safe-ish here. What I really want to do, though, is get up to the top of that room and throw another uh, pheromone grenade into that mess of enemies, because that would be hilarious. All right. Poison is gone. That's good. Back to the AK, we're going to reload this, because this is what it's made for, really. Dealing with bigger enemies like this that we can do a bunch of shots at. So that'll be good. You're dead. You're going to be dead as well, hopefully. Assault weapon skill goes up, that's good. Take some shots at him, not killing him either. Taking some more misses, thankfully. One, two, three. They're dead. Excellent. 
Reload again. We'll head back up the hill. What is our lightsaber at? It's at four and almost five. Okay. Our Misen rifle's damage as well. Not great. We do have one more nano reconstructor if we need it. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see who's going to get that one. We'll keep moving up here, though, and see if we can't spread the pheromone-based love. Is there anyone else in this part of the room? I don't see anything else. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to fight this guy manually. We could try and do something silly to him, but we're going to wait. We need those silly things for later, no doubt. If we could see into the room, we could try and throw a grenade somewhere, but I don't think we're going to get that opportunity. Alright. <clears throat> Take advantage of our mobility to get the drop on these guys. There we go. Drop some more bullets in there. One more salvo should take these guys out. I think they're only... Ah, oh, we missed a bullet. Try that. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Enough damage there to not have to worry about them again. Another salvo there. Yeah, they're not dying. That's the worst part. One, two, three. Awesome. And we can come down and reload again. So we'll run down this way. Reload the gun. There we go. Take another backpedaling bit there. Take out this protean. Take out that protean. Didn't kill any of them. We're having bad luck with killing these guys off in one go. That's okay, though. One, two, three. There we go. Dead Proteans. Perfect. We're running a little bit low on assault rifle ammo, but this is exactly what I had the assault rifle in mind for taking out these Proteans. The low penetration on it makes it not so useful in other places. There's a Zomboid in here. Zomboids are like super toxoids. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another Pheromone Grenade. There's also a Zula Alpha in here for some reason. Not sure what that's all about. Pheromone Bait. We're going to throw that right in here. It's a huge range. We're going to try and blast all of them. I think we can blast ourselves with it too, potentially, but we'll try it anyway. Nope, didn't do too much to us, but it made all of them go berserk, which is amazing. Now, we're going to be backing out of here very quickly. <laughs> we're going to run away. These guys should kill mostly, should mostly kill each other. It's unfortunate because we won't get much experience for it if they do, but it's kind of funny as well. If we try and throw some grenades in there, we can probably do some additional damage. Like if I take frag grenades now and chuck those into the space, we should be able to do some nice additional damage with these. There we go. There's one. There's two. Oh, I think I already threw a grenade and I'm grabbed. No, okay, we're good. We're good. I thought I was in a bad position there. We should be okay. The Zomboid and the Toxoid are probably going to give us a hard time, but we did get a good amount of experience from bombing those guys. I think if we put the grenades away and switch to a different kind of grenade, if we plasma grenade... Oh, no. Whoa! Look how big that is! That's like an entire floor! That's like a whole room here. That's crazy. Well, not what I had in mind. I was looking for a smaller grenade. High energy or smaller? Yes, this is what I wanted. High energy might be a bit too big, though, even. No, they're right. High energy is the only one we have, really. If we high energy grenade into here, that should do some good damage to them as well. There we go. That's what we're looking for. They're still berserk, though. I really don't want them to kill each other at this point, because I kind of want that experience now. But I think all the berserk effects have gone off. Yeah. So now we're just fighting them normally. Okay. We are still grabbed, though, so we can't really backpedal very easily. Okay. I'm going to eat these things just for fun. Delicious. And what else are we going to do here? We have our duct tape if we really need repairs. <laughs> Not a great option, but it's there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. We're getting there. This is probably the way to the final room this way, actually. We'll have to, I mean, we might go everywhere on this floor. I'm not sure. Just for fun. But if our gear starts to deteriorate, deteriorate irrepar irreparably, we'll probably leave. How are we going to kill these guys? We could go for the lightsaber, but the lightsaber is damaged. So I can repair the lightsaber and then do it. So that's what we'll do. We'll take the nano reconstructors... Stick them into the lightsaber. The last nano reconstructor we have for now. We might find more, though. We'll take the lightsaber. And it has a double reach, so we should be able to hit two of these guys in one hit, which is nice. There we go. Now they're closer, which is fine. We can use the normal one if you want. We're going to use the lightsaber still. Why not, since we've started to use it anyway. Can we all three of them here? No, we can't. There's another Zomboid in there, which is disappointing, because it has full health now, since it didn't get attacked by anything else. We're not grabbed yet, but now we are, so we can't really get out of here very easily. More Toxoids. This is the kind of thing that I was talking about, though. You have to deal with a lot of big, big monsters at the end. More than you would ever have to deal with normally. We can hack at them no problem, and eventually they'll die, but there's a lot of stuff in here, and they can do bad things to you. Especially if you don't have the uh, healing items you need to actually deal with the effects they give. Alright, back to the lightning blade to kill these guys off. It doesn't do much less damage than the other sword, so I probably should have been using this in the first place, but it's kind of fun to mix things up a little bit every once in a while. Can we actually fight the Zomboid successfully? It does a lot of damage, but we should be able to out-damage it pretty effectively, especially since it's stunned. If it tries to move, it'll be in trouble. Surprisingly enough, though, we haven't got any diseases or anything from the, Zombo the Zomboids. I'm pretty sure they give... Oh, there you go. Disease level 4. Exactly. I was pretty sure they give a pretty nasty high-level disease when they hit you, but 
There it is. Okay. Poison's cured. We're hoping our disease levels down as well. It's a mite check, I believe, that determines that. And if we get lucky, there we go. Our disease will cle clear up nicely. We don't have to worry about it. Get out of here. There we go. We're still dizzy, which means we'll have a hard time walking in a straight line. But that's okay. Dizziness is gone. Our disease should go away pretty easily here. Is there anything else hiding in this place? Nope. Whoop. We're dizzy again. Disease reduced. There we go. Can we activate this? Yes, we should be able to activate the med bay. Please heal us up a little bit so I don't have to spend time waiting. Excellent. One more time. Excellent. I think this all might be full heals. I'm not sure. Either way, let's come back down here, open this up. We got cured from our disease. That's good. What is in this locker? Oh, Morgi flavor oils! Hallelujah. We have any bone slivers? Yes, we do. All right. Sorry, guys. We have to take a detour here. We're going to run back upstairs, use a cooker, and make ourselves the chocolate fondue. I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm kind of disappointed to leave our adventures in the final floor to go do it, but sometimes you have to give silly things priority, and right now, priority goes to making this question mark recipe I have been trying to get since forever. So, we'll find out soon what's in the Morgi flavor oil that... The, makes this lovely thing have a question mark as a picture. Just watch it sentient and it kills you or something. Let's get up here. Where? How do we get to it? Where's the cooker? Cooker's over here. Alright. Find the cooker. Use the cooker. Make amazing food. Alright. Please be amazing, chocolate fondue. Please be amazing. Only a 56% chance of success. That's terrifying. That's actually scary. We might fail to make this chocolate fondue. And then I may never know what we'll get. We can make star fondue instead, but that also takes Morgi flavor oils. This is also a nice item because it gives you a lot of healing power. So I'll probably try this if we fail the chocolate fondue. But I really, or even if we succeed it, either way, we have two Morgi flavor oils. Please succeed. Please succeed. 56% chance. Two in one chance of figuring out what the question mark item is. Yes! Chocolate fondue! When you are alive and have found chocolate and you just need to express it amongst a few close monsters. It is actually a question. What? Why is there no picture for this? I'm so disappointed now. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. That's weird. Is there another cooker on this floor? There's one up there. Let's head over that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's really weird. I'm probably going to have to try and eat it and see if it just, like, heals you a million or something. Or, like, why? If it only has 150 food value, why? Oh, I don't have any bone slippers left. Right. So I can't make the other one. Right. But that's so bizarre. It has no picture for real, and it only gives you 150 food, despite taking two chocolate eggs, which give you 200 food. So I don't know what that's all about. Huh. Well, we can eat it and find out, I guess. Just like our stink witch. We have to eat that at some point here, too, and find out what that does. But that's just weird. I'm going the wrong way again. It's in this room, not that room. I don't even know how to react to that. That's so strange. All right, well, let's, let's run back down here, get back into the action, and see what we find. I'm going to actually check the rooms to the left on the bottom part first. This is probably going to be a whole lot of fighting and not a whole lot else, because that's what this whole last floor is. So if that's not the most interesting to you, I, I'm sorry, but there's not much I can do about it. What's over here? We have a big, big long hallway from the looks of things. This hallway goes to a small robot's room? I can't see in here. I have to open it. Go, ah! No, this is the Hopkinite storage. Isn't it? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. There is one Hopkinite in there. It looks like it might just be a med lab, so it's going to be full of diseases and doctors and that kind of thing. But uh, this guy is going to make it a little bit more troublesome, because if he paralyzes us successfully, we're going to be in a big trouble. Oh, zombie researchers. Lovely. Lovely. They love to give her radiation. So that's one of the problems here. These med labs can be quite dangerous because the radiation can add up quite quickly. That's why you want to hold on to those damper patches. You grab them early on. You never need to use them. But when you get to the point where you need them, you need them. So we're going to move up here and try... Oh, there's a mine. Oh, goodness. That's a mine. Or poison cloud? Poison gas. Yeah, okay. We're going to back up. <laughs> ah, ah. Okay, we're good. We're going to back up one more. And we're going to shoot the poison gas trap. That should poison all of them. Good. He knocked... You knocked a robot unconscious. Congratulations, sir. Your grenade knocked something unconscious that is not conscious in the first place. Now, we are at high radiation, so we're going to deal with this. These are damper patches to reduce that radiation down two levels each. I think it's two levels per power-up. 
I don't know if it's based on the actual uh, amount of rads you have, or if it just reduces the radiation by set levels. Either way. Either way, we want to make sure we get these guys out of here. More KO grenades. How many grenades? Oh, there's two of you in there. That's why. I say, how many KO grenades do you have? But that's why. All right. Kill them. We don't want to be hit with too many more rad blasters. Get out of here. More nano muds. That's good. Nano muds are always useful. Kill them off. One more shot should kill him. Oh, you got killed by the poison, actually. We'll grab those nano meds. There's four of them in there. Wow, so much healing items. And we should be able to slice through this little green man without too much difficulty. There's a lab station in here, so we don't even have to go back upstairs to make more battery packs for our, uh, what do you call them? Meeson rifle, if we actually want to use it. This is apparently a, uh, adaptoid. Yep. Stinker, you can't, try to, can't hide from me. Reload our guns. Excellent. Have we reloaded the assault rifle recently? Yes, we have. What about the heavy slug thrower? No, we haven't. We'll reload that one. We have such an arsenal, it's ridiculous. Alright, Meeson Rifle, you have one shot left in you? Yeah, you do. I'm going to reload you anyway. Get that uh, back filled up so we're not in a nasty situation. We need shots. Can't use them. Is this an actual locker? Yes, it is. What's in this one? This one has exotic proteins in it. Yay. Alright, we'll use the lab station here. We'll probably make another backpack immediately with it. Is there anything else in here useful we could make? No. Energy backpack, though, will be useful. We have plenty more batteries now to use. I think I could even try and make two of them if I wanted, but I don't think I want to, because having access to laser sword is also good. Now, how, where are they? We have eight more. Yeah, we'll use them. Go. Not concerned about that at this point, then. We can definitely make that ammo. Excellent. Energy backpack. Good. We have plenty of inventory space now, which is hilarious, given how stuck we were for inventory all game. But, that's fine. What are we going to eat next? I'm not sure. Let's go through this way. What's in this room? This looks like an interesting room. More labs and stuff. There we go. This has... Oh, nope. 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 That's the death room. This is the death room. This is the room that has the big robots in it. It's got war bots in it. It's got level 3 and uh, heavy security bots. We're not going in there for sure. Nope. All of my nope. We might be able to go in there at the end if we really decide we're crazy. But I don't know how crazy we are. This one should be okay. It's mostly retrievers and a bunny. We should be able to deal with them without too much trouble. And we have a level up if we need health in a hurry for all of these choking effects. But we should be fine here. We should be able to kill these guys off. They're actually going to kill each other. This dimmed effect isn't such a big deal, but the poison is going to be pretty irritating. From all of these, uh... This, the... I can't even see. Okay. <laughs> from all of the, uh... Green... What's the name? I can't see them. Maybe there aren't any in here. Maybe that poison was actually from the cloud. I thought the, the poison was coming from the swamp creatures. That's the word I was looking for. Because I know they give you poison effects and stuff when they hit you with Ebola. But apparently not. If there's a little green man in here, though, we could be in a bit of trouble because those guys have a pretty easy time giving us nasty paralysis effects, which could really hurt us. But hopefully we don't have to deal with that. We should be able to slice these guys up without too much trouble. Confusion could be a problem, but we do have hum gum if we really want to deal with it. I think I'll let it slide, though, for now because otherwise we're just going to get hit immediately again. There's a Hopkinite and a little green man. You guys are going to get Meeson rifled. I got a nice fresh... Oh, no, I can't do that. I'm confused. I'm going to unconfuse myself and then Meeson rifle you. Hum gum... Delicious. No longer confused. We're going to zap the Hopkinite who can confuse us first. Pow. He's dead instantly. We're going to move over and shoot the other one. Pow. Not dead instantly, but he's quite close. I believe the mag pistol will kill him because the piercing effect's on it. No, not quite. One more. There we go. Now this room's not quite so bad. There's another Hopkinite over there, though, so we're going to Meeson rifle him as well. Get out of here. You're not welcome. You're dead. Oh, no, you're not dead. You don't want to die. All right. One more try with the mag pistol. Should clear him out. I don't know how good his armor is, though. He might be blocking this completely. No. One more shot there. I think he's either dead or has run off. We're taking lots of poison and stuff damage, but I think we're still okay for now. The Leaperoid is running around in the poison, which is kind of entertaining. He's not dangerous at this point. He has basically no damage, but he is irritating because his turn takes forever. So we're going to slash at him first. Hello, friend. You get sliced up next, and that'll help us slice the people behind, beside you as well. Keep going. I know. He just keeps going and going and going. Duracell or whatever it is will be quite upset that their uh, <laughs> their famous bunny is being used this way. He didn't drop any chocolate either, stinker. All right, we should really kill off these guys because that is an irritating effect. Ah, you need to die. There we go. Nope, you need to die. I said. One more. How is our sword actually doing? Three durability. Not good. Hmm. Well, that's a bit of a problem because we do need to have access to our swords. We can recharge the laser sword here. We'll take some damage while we're doing so, but that should be okay. Ow. 
now we can attack them with the laser sword. This should kill them a lot quicker because it does much higher armor penetration and the retrievers do have pretty good armor. The problem with the retrievers is this acid destroys everything in the room. So you're not going to get anything from a room that has retrievers in it. No matter what you want to try and do, it's just not going to happen. We can come over here and slice these guys up. We should be able to kill them pretty easy. There's more energy cells. We're going to level up now. There we go. We'll take our might bonus again as always. And we'll go... Hmm. What are we going to take here? We'll take medical, I guess. Medical's good at this point. We'll take more blade. Three more points, and that's good. And we'll go, I guess, lockpick again. Electronics, mechanical, computer, rifle, assault weapon. There we go. And one more laser sword hit. Good. One more laser sword hit. Good. Look at that. That's such a weird looking thing. A mess of heads. All right. You're going to die another hit, so we'll kill you again. Excellent. How many of these energy cells are there? Three. Excellent. Let's move in. We might even just wind up going the ridiculous route and just killing everyone with a Mison rifle for a while, because that is pretty fun. Because we do have lots of energy cells now, and we have, I believe, enough bindings to continue to make those power packs until we literally run out of everything else. Oh, an Epsilon door. I don't think I've ever seen that door before. That's an interesting new color. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to have to experiment with that in a second. We'll grab the war bread. What is in this container? Somehow this managed to survive all that toxic gas. It had a hyper multi-tool in it. Nothing exciting. Is this an easy door to unlock or not? No, wow. That's almost as hard as the Ada and Zeta doors. That's exciting. Well, we'll try and open it anyway with lockpicks. Nope, failed. Try again with lockpicks. Failed. Oh, we succeeded. Good. This is a medium-sized robot room. Okay, we're probably going to wind up sorting them to death. We will reload our laser sword again. We probably shouldn't be using it too much because, like I said, I want to use the Mison rifle, but eh, hard to say. I'd love to repair this thing, but at this point, repairing it with anything we have is a really bad idea because it really doesn't do much for its durability. The duct tape would absolutely ravage it. We want it to try and last until we actually get to the exit. So maybe what I should... Oh, I can use the EMP grenades. Yeah, this will be fun. I'm going to go in here and just vaporize this whole room. So, the reason we kept all these EMP grenades for so long is because you can do this with them. Goodbye, robots. Oh, I can't shoot that from here. Ah, I'm going to move again. That's unfortunate. Now I can do something to them, though. I can hit all those guys. How, what's the best hit? I can hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 again there. I probably can't hit more than 6 in one shot, but let's try this. We're going to EMP grenade them. Bam, dead robots. It's amazing. More dead robots. That was a Zaptoid, and it's dead too. It's like you do so much hilariously high damage with this thing. All right, I'm gonna EMP grenade right, right here, I guess. Kill those three. Go. I missed a little bit, but that's fine. Like it kills them so fast. It's so good. Anyway, you could tell I was enjoying that, but. It's, it's just so fun to do. You save them for so long, they're not very useful, and all of a sudden they kill everything. It's the best. Alright, this adaptoid is poisoned and generally unhappy. We should be able to take him out without too much trouble. I don't know if these guys actually count as being robots or what they are. I don't think EMP damage really hurts them, though. I think they're just like amorphous blobs that hide in the, sh the shape of other enemies. We'll take one more grenade on these guys. I might be able to hit all of them. I don't think so, though. One more EMP grenade. Yep. Right, we can't hit all of them. I don't know if I can actually make that throw, but we'll try. No, I hit the wall. Dang it. Go down here, then throw. There we go. That's some good damage. <laughs> Kills them so fast is the best. All right, you're dead. And you're dead. Oh, no, no. You're not quite dead yet. Now you're dead. Awesome. And that's why we stockpile things. So we can spam them in here and kill everyone. Three more energy cells. Awesome. Some pistol rounds. I'll take those. Some flechette rounds and pistol rounds. I'll take those. Lots of element X on the ground. What's in this ammo crate? It has more rockets. Five more rockets. Wow, if I could use rockets, that would be fun. But I can't use rockets, so I won't worry about it. This has a blunter in it. No, that's reinforcement bots. That's a good one. We'll take that and we'll put it on our lasers or an energy lightning blade, actually. That would be really good. There we go. Much more durable. Back up to... Wow! Is that based on the original durability? Because that popped the durability up hugely. We were at 16, now it's at 43. That's not 50%. That's huge. I don't know, otherwise, I'm, either, either way, I'm not going to complain. That's a huge boost. All right, so we probably, if we go down here, we're going to meet the evil room again, so we're not going to go in there. Yeah, that's the evil room. This room is evil. That's okay. We'll leave that one alone. We're getting pretty clear through here, though. Pretty clear. This is going to be a long episode, I bet, because I am going to try and go through every room. Oh, this is a bad room, though.